Charles Barkley. I'm talking about Charles Barkley and John Morant. As y'all can see, I put knee pads up there. John Morant is a young brother who is very exciting amongst the league. He's a brother who is, you know, is 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 a talented brother who makes any team better. John Morant, would any team in the league would want John Morant on there, with the exception of maybe Golden State Warriors, and they would figure something out. Uh, but to say that John Morant doesn't make a team better, like Charles Barkley say, or he doesn't help his team and make his teammates better, um, I totally disagree with that. Uh, I think his teammates are having a, a great season. You can make an argument that maybe the bigs will suffer and maybe uh, Charles Barkley is speaking from a big standpoint, but he should have clarified that. But to say that he doesn't make his teammates better, no, 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 that's not true. Just having him on the floor will bring so much attention that you're going to score points just off of this guy. You have to have energy. You have to have effort. No, you're not going to be, if you're a big who likes to just get it dropped in the post, how Charles used to play back in the day, you're not going to like a John Morant. John Morant gets up and down. He's a high-flying guy. He scores a lot of points. Points. He dunks on people. So I could see a Charles Barkley not wanting to play with a guy like this. But it's just seeming like after these guys get their deal, they just have to talk negative on a black player because you could say you could share your opinion uh and i don't think uh charles's opinion was too egregious he should have a right to say that he don't think john morant make his teammates better and i have a right to not agree with him but uh ja went in ja put the knee pads up so one could assume what he meant by that either he meant that nigga go do whatever to your white bosses or he meant you got your knee pads out for a job you own your knees for a job we all can speculate what he meant but uh i would say to the young brother you know <laughs> he is a funny uh uh you know apparently he don't take no crap young dude but at the end of the day that'll take away from his brand you know as uh, uh, much as we cheer that on in the chat as much as we'll cheer that on from a spectator's point of view, from the outside looking in, I would be wrong to say that I don't understand what John Morant is in. John Morant is in a, a game that doesn't like that type of talk. Even though he, he has a complete right to feel what he feel, and he has a complete right to say that, I think that was the most respectful way to say it without getting vulgar. So I can say I can agree with the brother on that. But what I'm saying is you don't want to take away. They have the system rigged to where as soon as he say anything, they're going to say he's sensitive. They're probably going to have Stephen A., Chris Bouchard, or whoever else say that he's sensitive. They're going to say he can't take criticism. They're going to say X, Y, and Z. And then it creates a, a, a sh storm, if you will. And it's unnecessary. This young brother played a game is in one of the most high flying pace that you can find. I'm sure his teammates love him. I'm sure the city love him. I'm sure the fans love him. And so it's no need to fall to the stupidity of these guys that create narratives in order to sell uh, their shows. This is not going to benefit John Morant whatsoever. What this is going to do is this is going to allow people like myself, people like Charles Barkley and people who create these networks and these shows to continue profiting off of drama. Because trust me, this is going to be drama. They're going to say something about this. So if I'm you guys, if I'm John Morant, I'm definitely not uh, taking my time out to try to disrespect Charles Barkley. That was definitely a clever way to do it. That was a clever way to do it. And if you don't get backlash, hell, I'll say this. Do it that way some more. <laughs> if it worked, do it that way some more. But if it takes away from your brand, if it takes away from your money, then don't do it. Um, 
Don't even waste your time doing it. They, you're under a microscope with this NBA thing, and they're watching all of you players. It's my belief that they're trying to make this thing an international game. That's why all of these great players, with the exception of Kyrie, not Kyrie, but with the exception of Steph Curry and a few other players, they, they don't have anything on. But everybody else, the top players, they seem to be attacking. Um, you notice Nokic and, and Luka Doncic and all these other players that they revere as uh, these great players. They don't have drama and baggage attached to their name. And they're going to pitch this uh, international game on you more and more and more and more until it passes. Because it's not one thing that they haven't wanted to do that they haven't implemented in this league, that they haven't successfully passed. So it will get done. But at the end of the day, it's about us as a, as a people not crashing out. John Morant don't need to – it's the right thing to say from where we come from to say, man, F that, F him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he on his knees. We can say that. You can say that. But John Morant, unfortunately, can't say that. And by him keeping it real and by him saying things like this, this will definitely take away from him. I can't say that I'm against what he said. Uh, I, I don't like how he said it because I don't like nobody. I mean, well, 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 I, well, the way he said it was clever because we can all just assume. Because we can just assume that he meant whatever. But he could have meant that you just down on your knees and here goes some knee pads for your bosses. So it don't have to be a sexual thing. So it was a clever way to do it. He has plausible deniability. He didn't, he didn't have to, you, you can't say he invited a man to his penis all the way. Cause I'm not with that at all. I mean, I don't like Charles Barkley, but I definitely wouldn't be for something like that. I don't invite nobody to nothing like that. And so I, I, I couldn't act like I would be cool with that, but at the end of the day, um, these old heads got to start having a mutual respect for these players, and and these young players got can't be sensitive. If if Charles is just saying he thinks that he doesn't uh, make his teammates better, he should. If he honestly believed that, he should be able to say that without somebody insinuating that. You know what I mean? You get to invite somebody to their penis. Those are fighting words for real, for real. You know, you better have you better have some hands or you're gonna have to have some friends because saying stuff like that ain't no more talk. So at the end of the day, I, I say if Charles was just saying that, that's his opinion. Uh, just be careful about saying things like that when you invite men to your penis. That's a dangerous game. Um and also uh I just think we just have to have a, a mutual tolerance. Somebody say something about you. Fuck them. But at the end of the day, we we all got to have a little more respect for each other. I wish it, the news wouldn't have one brother talking about another brother every single day. But that's where we are. We're at a point to where the only the only news is black news, whether it be going to prison, whether it be hooping, whether it be whatever. We're the most interesting people you can find. So. I hope that this situation can blow over. I don't think it will. But Jai, one brother to another, um, please be careful about what you're saying on Twitter because it don't go anywhere. When it's time for you to get sponsorships and things of that nature, they'll bring this type of stuff up. Even though I'm not taking the back of uh, Charles Barkley, uh, I think he speaks out of turn a lot of times. But at the end of the day, you don't want to take away from yourself saying something like that. And I definitely don't agree if you was insinuating that this man was doing whatever uh, like that. So, yeah. But have a blessed day, y'all. I'll be back at you guys with another live. I will be actually going live and not just say pre-record. But you guys have a blessed day. Shout out to Ticket TV. Shout out to One Crack News. Shout out to Carcino for Life. Go sub up to the Patreon Make sure you go sub up to Kwame Brown Bus Life 2.0. Uh, shout out to Ears to the Street, Sister T. Um, shout out to the political kryptonite, Gems from Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown, Kwame Brown, greatest fans, damn D, POV, 
And man, shout out to everybody that's making good content and not worry about nobody else. I'm gone.